Hey everybody, Tired Metal at Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well this Monday evening. As you can see, the stubble is gone now. It's 60 degrees in my area. It's kind of feeling a little bit like spring for me at least. I don't know how many of you guys are experiencing the warm temperatures, but if you are, you're probably feeling the same way. And that's going to really be the topic of the video tonight. We're going to go ahead and uh, take a little sneak peek at what spring could be like. Keep in mind that we're looking at well over 90 days in advance something we rarely do so i would not put a lot of merit into this at all this is just kind of a look at what we could see and keep in mind that at 90 days everything and i mean everything is variable I'm not going to be looking too far into forecast models or anything like that it's really just going to be outlooks and a handful of outlook stuff at that so that being said, let's go ahead and get into it and start with the temperature outlook where we see the continuation really of the El Nino signal. This is a pretty common car calling card with El Nino where we see the uh, warmer temperatures kind of being more dominant out towards the northern states and towards the, the uh, northern corners. So when I say northern corners, of course, I mean northwest and northeast here. Equal chance over that 90 day period of warmer or cooler than average temperatures here now what i want to make sure that no one confuses here is the fact that a not every day is going to be 20 degrees above average on your temperatures but over the course of this 90 day period from march all the way to may the probability of uh, above average temperatures in areas like this area over here towards the reddish orange area that that's going to be a little bit greater than average chance of some warmer weather but even then it's not to say that we aren't going to get storm systems that are going to cool us down for a moment it's not like the uh, upper level pattern will cha won't change and and give you a little bit of relief here or uh make things a little bit more difficult for you depending on your perspective but that being said here though these two areas in particular are going to be the hot spots no pun intended same thing with the entire state of Alaska here, which has a 40 to 50 percent chance of above average temperatures. Just how much above we'll get into that in just a second here. So we'll go ahead and switch over to precipitation here. And this is another El Nino calling card where we see the southeast looking pretty active here over the course of the next three months. This is usually a little bit more lenient towards the winter El Nino signal. But spring can be like this too. It's not uncommon. In fact, it's likely. And we're seeing a perfect reflection of that there. Gulf Coast states and Florida being the main points of interest. With the way the uh, current storm pattern is right now, that definitely kind of verifies as it stands. But of course, like I said before, this is very much prone to change. Also, there's a little pocket right here in the uh, middle of the plains here towards Kansas and Nebraska where we have a slightly more above chance of uh, average to above average precipitation here. The main area over the uh, course of that 90 day period that we're looking at for below average precip actually going to be over towards the northwest might be a welcome break for them because this winter this area has been getting walloped. So a little bit of a uh, break from some of the precip here would be nice. Keep in mind, like I said, that not every day is going to be dry. There could be plenty of storm systems that go he through here, but they might not drop as much precipitation. And the same can be said for Alaska. Towards southwest Alaska seems to look like it's going to be rather active. And then over towards the northern tip, it could be a similar deal as well. So with that, let's get into some of the values here. And we'll start out with that uh, monthly uh, temperature anomaly here. This is giving us a look at what we could experience as an average throughout the month here. This is the month of March that we're looking at right now. And like I said, pretty much looking exactly like that temperature outlook we were seeing here for the month of March. Most of those warm temperatures are hanging right around the US Canadian border here. And then we see those right at average temperatures, slightly above temperatures kind of hanging around over towards the heart of the country, towards the Southwest and then Towards the east, we're kind of like a little bit of a limbo, I would say. So other than that, I mean, for the most part, nothing too far out of the ordinary. 
once we get towards April, that's when we start to bake a little bit for just about the entire country here. Could be an above average month from the looks of things here. Some areas are looking like they're getting a little bit warmer, especially towards the northwest and towards the Rockies. We could be seeing maybe about three degrees Celsius in regards to uh, temperatures here. So we could maybe get up close to about that 20 plus degree it's above average here. So it's a little area of interest over here. And then over towards the northeast, we could be looking at that as well. So it could be a pretty warm April here for some areas here, but for the most part, we're gonna be a little bit above average, maybe five to 10 for the most part. It's gonna be pretty widespread. There could be some some widespread 15s as well. So we'll go to May, which is the final month of spring, and we see pretty much no real change here. So once we get into that pattern here, we could be uh, pretty consistent here just based off of this signal. Now keep in mind, like I said before, in the earlier part of this video, this is very much prone to change considering how far out we are. We haven't even gone through the month of February yet. And a lot can change with the upper levels, which often has everything to do with what happens at the lower levels. So now we're gonna go to the monthly precip here. March, of course, like I said before, looking really active over towards the Southeast. A little bit more dry over towards the plains, the Midwest, and also the Ohio and Tennessee valleys. And then kind of a mixed bag here, mainly looking like we're gonna be right at average or just a little bit above or below. Depends on if you fall into the yellow or the green at this point for the month of March. Keep in mind, this is based off of averages though. As we go towards April, we're kind of in a similar deal to free for all. In Georgia, um, Florida having the uh, best signal for above average precip also Maine, and then some parts of the midwest here maybe towards the ohio valley here as well and then of course the uh, west still looks like it's going to be pretty active for a bit here if we go towards may southeast looks like it starts to dry out here and then over towards the northern states we start to see an increase of activity over here so kind of beginning to see a little bit of a shift here maybe for the month of may and then over towards the uh, northwest here, we're starting to look pretty dry here as well here at this point. Keep in mind, it doesn't mean that every day is gonna be dry, you're gonna be dry for a whole month, you're gonna end up in a crazy drought. No, it's not gonna be like that, but we could see some below average precipitation here for sure. It's a pretty good signal here across the southeast in particular, as well as the uh, northwest coast here. So one more thing we're gonna look at, and this is a key factor in a lot of this in the meantime, and like I said again, this is not super reliable considering how far out we are. You don't like, I normally don't like looking this far out at range, but we're gonna go ahead and just take a sneak peek at what we could be seeing. And that's gonna be the uh, upper levels of the atmosphere, mainly looking at the oscillations here. This, this area right here, we're looking at what the cursor is, is the Arctic Oscillation of the AO, then the North Atlantic Oscillation over here, which is going to be over towards Greenland. So as we move this forward here, we kind of see maybe a little bit of potential for some cold air to try to bump in, try to rush in towards the east, but I don't think that's going to really hold out too well. Do see a potential signal for some minor stratospheric heating for the month of April. We'll have to see how that pans out. It doesn't look like it's anything super robust right now though. So I wouldn't necessarily say we're gonna see a big event in April, but that's something to watch out for. This could potentially play a part in an increased storm pattern here if this signal holds. Like I said, looking over two months in advance doesn't really give me a lot of ground to stand on. And then as we go towards May, we start to see a little bit more of a calmer pattern starting out, but it could also lead to a more active June with this signal here though. Cause eventually it looks, cause it kind of looks like we're seesawing in between that uh, Arctic oscillation being in between a positive and a negative phase. When we're in a negative phase, things usually stay pretty stable. Once we get into a positive phase, we can sometimes see those little sneaky shots of cold air coming in. And even if they don't end up making a major cool down for the US here, it can a lot for a dip in a few more um, ripples in that jet stream, eventually leading to some increased storminess. 
So with all that in mind, still a lot that we have to look at in regards to spring here. We're going to be making update videos on this from this point. So just make sure you're staying tuned here. If you enjoyed what you saw here, uh, definitely uh, consider subscribing. Definitely leave a like and a comment. And also hit that share button too. Goal here is to try to get to a thousand by the end of this year, which I, I'm pretty sure we can get there. But any extra help that you guys can give is also appreciated. That being said, you guys have a good night. I'll see you again soon. This is the entire Metalhead Weatherman. Take care and have a good evening.